Was good? Yes, sir. We asked you to get this. We are conducting an experiment. So, could you place it there within easy reach? Okay. And uh, I have a pair of gloves for you too. Oh wow! Put on your gloves, please. The last time I wore gloves. Yes, I am so rusty. It's quite apparent he's not used to wearing these kind of gloves. He is more familiar with motorcycle gloves. He would have worn them by now, got on his motorcycle, and he would be on his way. Okay, CK, this is a experiment with petrol, E10 petrol, to see if we can separate the ethanol from petrol to know the hydrophilic properties of ethanol. I would like you to take this cylinder and could you get me 400 ml of E10 petrol? Sure. Thank you. Welcome. While he is getting the petrol, let me set up 40 ml of water. This is just regular drinking water. Yeah, that's 40 ml. Put it into this measured cylinder. That's 40 ml, and I will mark it. Okay. Okay. I have marked approximately the 40 ml. CK, you ready? Yeah, Boski. So, is that 400 ml? About yes. more or less. 400 ml. Okay, cool. Now, why don't you put it into this? There is 40 ml of water here. Okay. That's 400 ml of E10 petrol. Yes. Yeah. Let it go inside here, please. So that's the 40 ml of water. You can see. it settled right to the bottom like it actually should it's now working with the ethanol however just leaving it there is not going to get it mixed well ethanol is hydrophilic it's going to attract the water molecules so what we will do is give it a good shake just like how you are attracted to adv motorcycling single cylinder long stroke royal enfield <laughs> <laughs> let's give this a good shake what we are doing is our best to mix the water with this ethanol e10 petrol so that the molecules can bind and settle down at the bottom i think we should be able to manage this much of a stir is good enough for this experiment oops thank you you are conferred the doctor's degree for saving the measured cylinder okay and if you continue to keep quiet i will leave the doctor degree with you okay dr ck understood sir let's wait hey you can already see what's happening yes i think we we'll leave the marker here yeah. so that you can see it better you can see the mark see what's happened now it has to settle down some more but already indications are very clear Yeah, the marks here and yeah so what has happened we put in only 40 ml of water we settled at the bottom we gave it a good shake and now it looks like there is about 80 ml of water this is water and ethanol mix the water has just dragged all the ethanol down to the bottom this is pure petrol okay it's still settling it's a bit murky we we'll leave it 10 15 minutes the separation will be super clear nice there you go see ke what do you think this is so cool man yes i didn't know because they take a lot of efforts to mix ethanol and petrol and you undid it in just a minute yeah so this is a issue All it be should be called it an issue. You know, this I is a property of it's, yeah, it's a inherent nature. Inherent nature. 
E10, 10% ethanol, water gets into the fuel tank, it is going to separate. A little water is okay, there is room in the tank for the water to settle down at the bottom. However, extra water is going to double mixing with the ethanol and form so much of a layer like this at the bottom of the fuel tank. And once it starts to go into the engine, the engine is not going to fire, either it will misfire or it just won't start up. But these are the problems. However, E10 has been around for a long time. It's not new. Some motorcycles do face this problem. So during monsoons or when washing the motorcycle, please make sure water doesn't get into the fuel tank. There is a drain hole beside the cap. Make sure that is always clean. You can use a, a wire, a copper wire yeah. to clean it or get it to any workshop with compressed air, blow it clean. Otherwise it collects around that well and gets into the tank and you could end up with this kind of a problem. E20 is coming in soon. We'll all get used to it anyway and life will go on. However, this issue of water getting in and this separation happening is greater because it is just going to double. There's going to be more ethanol that's going to be dragged to the bottom. I hope this has provided you with enough information to understand petrol, ethanol, water. Any questions, CK? No, Baski, you made it very clear and it's very simple to comprehend. And uh, if you do happen to have a motor vehicle that can run only on pure petrol, an old vintage or whatever, you could have a big jar with a tap at the bottom. Do this, drain this portion off. Of course, after allowing everything to settle down quite well because you have to give it a good shake to get it mixed up well. Settle down, drain it off. You'll have pure petrol for your vehicle. However, please ensure this 50-50 ethanol and water mix is disposed of properly. This is not water. This is ethanol and water mix. So disposing that properly is a responsibility. Please find out a means to do that. Do that before you decide to use this petrol for your vehicle. So that's the experiment. We have seen it firsthand. How water can separate. See, it's getting clearer and clearer. You see this? Much fluid? more clear. This is still murky. Still murky. The reaction is still going on. The separation is still going on. Soon, completely clear petrol completely clear ethanol and water hope you like this experiment hope this information was useful if you have any questions please feel free to comment and we will do our best to answer thank you this was clear this is absolutely clear.